this is T-Mac back with you again to do some more campfire cooking I got some requests and uh, I'm just going to show you some of my basic campfire cooking I don't try to get anything too extravagant it's just stuff that you can pack in easy cook with it and it goes good with everything what I got here is a little bag of flour and all that's in here is seasoning salt, a little regular salt, pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. And I mix that all up in this bag. And I use this for squirrel. I use it for deer. Whatever I'm cooking, that's what I use it for. Today, we're using it for frog legs. My brother Buddy went out and got some frogs, brought them over to the house, and I cleaned them. And uh, they're just soaking in salt water right now. I'm going to empty this out right here. And after you drain the salt water off of there, which this is, like I said, this is the same thing I do with squirrel. Uh, salt water, water, it just pulls a lot of that wild flavor that people complain about out of the meat, all the blood out of the meat, and then you can really, I mean, it just really tastes better. I got my frog legs here, my flour, I packed it in, you know, already ready. So, all I'm going to do is I put my meat in a container that has a lid that fits tight. So I can either put this in here or this in here. If you're out camping, I mean, I'm not too far from the house. But if you're out deep camping, you know, I'm adding it to the bag. That way I don't get all the flour inside my container and then it's no good. and have to clean it real. I mean, cleaning flour out of a container is pretty tough sometimes. Just going to add all this in here. Boy, them are some big old frog legs, ain't they? Check this guy out. He's on steroids. Ooh, no. Drop them all in there. And this is the same recipe I'd use for squirrel. Exactly. Zip it up. Just toss it around. Got my pan getting nice and hot with some vegetable oil in there vegetable oil and I'm just tossing this around give that a good make sure everything's covered don't want to be too hard on it because there are bones sticking out of them frog legs and there you go they are totally breaded add them to the the oil baby I'm going to let those sit there and sizzle and cook till they're golden brown, nice and done. Flip them. And, uh, man, that's going to be some good eating right there. All right, while my frog legs are frying, get my antelope going. And uh, what I do, this could be antelope or deer meat, it don't matter. I've already got a piece over here roasting right now. But... This is some backstrap of antelope, and what I do is put it in the bag and put, fill it with, uh, no fill it, but put some olive oil in there, and once again, this right here 
just has Greek seasoning in it. I like Greek seasoning and just Greek seasoning, olive oil, put it in the bag and just massage it in there thoroughly and let it sit for a couple hours in there. That's what I did to that roast. I put the roast on first because it's going to take a couple hours probably to cook. But that's exactly how I would do my deer venison as well. Just put it on the grill, cook it slow, not directly on the fire. And uh, it'll cook up real good and slow and it'll be great. I tell you what, here at the McKibben house, we like to can our own vegetables. And this is just uh, potatoes, new potatoes and green beans. And I got some extra green beans in case this ain't enough. I got quite a bit of people coming over. But what I'm going to do is if you can your potatoes and stuff, you pressure cook them for about 45 minutes. So they're cooked already. I just come down here real quick. Open up the old Dutch oven. Dump these things in there. Set them by the fire. Add some bacon bits to them. Man, you can't beat it. Juice and all, throw it in there. Just lay this in there on them coals for a while. Ooh, doggy. Talk about good right there. Oh, man, that pressure cooker. Well, they'll thank you. Had them in there cooking for days. <laughs> well, since I put my frog legs in the bag instead of putting that flour in here, you can just clean this out. And put your done frog legs back in here. As you can see, they look great. I really want to eat one. I'm going to try one. There ain't nothing. It tastes quite like a frog leg. Nothing. It ain't chicken. It ain't fish. It's just good. <laughs> and they're really clean eaters, so the meat's really clean. Mm. Quick and easy frog legs right there. Absolutely delicious. Well, I'm going to throw the rest of this uh, speed goat on the fire, cook it real slow, got company coming, going to have a heck of a good time here, a while for the outdoors, I wish I could invite you all out here and just have a good time with us, we're out here celebrating freedom, our right to hunt, our God given right to hunt, and Monday, which tomorrow is Sunday, it's time for this Oklahoma boy to get out in the woods and do some bow hunting. Hey, God bless you. Keep talking to us. Keep liking us. Keep sharing us. And we'll keep doing what we're doing. Thanks for watching. Remember, it's your God-given duty to manage this land. And the best way to do that is through hunting, fishing, and trapping, and then eating it.